Back out here on field one for another grand final. Women's 30s. Both teams out on the park. South Queensland Sharks, Brisbane Cobras, local derby. She's going to be on... I thought you were going to finish that. Well, <laughs> she's, yeah, going just, be, she's going to be on. Just had a little moment there. Something else. But she's also obviously live streamed. She's going on to be Tough on Football mate. Australia Facebook page. That's what Scott was meaning. Exactly. So welcome. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, the Sharks' first position here, out of acting half, just went straight to the short side to have a look, turn it into a foot race. And she was outstanding in the semi-final earlier on today. Had a real heavy hand in getting her team into this grand final match. Very close to being late, that pass to the Cobras. This will be the last touch, I think. So, probably look to... Ooh. Oh, Bo De La Cruz has just taken the space and Hang got near the in-goal area. Oh, turns it back on the inside. And Lauren Bain, Laura Bain, I should say, absolutely nothing doing. But Bo De La Cruz is an absolute superstar of this sport. And she's showing you why right there. Well, at one stage, I was, I was thinking that she was just going to try and kill it on that sideline because it was the fifth and last. There was nothing on in the link position and just turn it into a one-on-one -on -one with her. Brisbane. Cormac coming up out of the line and try to put pressure on. Happy to continue to put it through the hands here, Brisbane. Yeah, well, they're sending that wrapper around every time they've scored. And they've done it twice where it's worked incredibly well for them. They've gained a lot of metres and then once where the pass was delayed a little bit too much and it cost them a turnover. But when they're getting it right, it's giving them a lot of momentum going into the end of their set here. Della Cruz again takes on and gets on the outside. She's going to get points herself this time. Set up the first try. Got the, uh, looks like the left hemi heavily strapped. It's not, not impeding her at all. Not affecting her speed, that's for sure. It's the, the, her opposing middle there for Sharks, just it, a little bit late to recognise that she was under so much pressure, under damage. It was almost just like a, a quickie from a long way out and just able to get on the outside of her middle and hold the ball in two hands for long enough to, to make sure her link didn't hit her. Stayed out and come up with something here, searching for their first try. McCormick now off the That's left. Feet. Great, Great feet. short, and then they skip away. Albert's claiming the touch. Yep. yep, touch made. Big touch there from Serena Albert. Yeah, that was a huge touch. It was also great footwork from Belinda McCormick to come back off her left foot. Now goes short side, and there's a shot oh, here. Ball. That's a ripping pass. That's incredibly well deserved, too. That's some reward for a great attacking set of six, particularly from Belinda McCormack. She was the focal point of, it, of both the previous touches. Created a half chance just before that picks up and goes short side, forces that link to make a decision very quickly, shuts on the half, and then delivers a perfect pass to hit back and as you glance half time break for the Sharks it's their transition coming out of their end of the field well, since they scored Scott I don't actually think that they've had another look in the opposition's half at all since they put that, that hit back try on and they've had a couple of opportunities to sort of work their way out of danger and just presented the Cobras with another couple of chances so it'll be interesting to see if Cobras can take it now it's got a sweeper coming. Around. Yep, Galetto. Oh, good footwork. Good footwork. Oh, 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 still going, Galetto. Yeah. Wow. Oh. It's very impressive. Well, when I saw the link chop back in, I thought, oh, no, it's falling apart. Yeah. And Davina just carries on. Let's have a look at this on the replay. So beats the first defender. And right here, commits there. Gets away from the second as well. Winger comes in, sums it up perfectly, finished off by Nikki Fields. Well, it's very fun to battle. Just been very impressive rucking out off their own line. And that's probably where Sharks have struggled slightly. Yeah, it just took a while for them to get their full complement onto the field. They've got it now. Marcel gets away from mine, commits the winger, coming down the sideline. Big oh. dive there. Huge touch. That's the number Touch seven, called, yeah. Christy Hendry. So it was a great finish too. Laura Bain is happy to sort of get in, up in the air and try and get her legs away from the defender, but huge effort, that covering touch there. Oh, oh Dela Cruz is sliced through again. Wow. 
She Sharks have struggled slightly. Yeah, it just took a while for them to get their full complement onto the field. They've got it now. Marcel gets away from one, commits to winger, coming down the sideline. Big oh, dive gosh. there. Huge touch. That's the number touch seven, called, yeah. Christy Hendry. So it was a great finish too, Laura Bain. He's happy to sort of get in, up in the air, and try and get her legs away from the defender, but huge effort, that covering touch there. Oh, oh Dela Cruz is sliced Dela through Cruz again. Wow. She has been superb. Have played a hand in three of the opening four tries for Cobras. And by playing a hand, I mean, she's been the significant contributor. Comes back off a switch here at full tilt. And then just too much pace. It's too late by the time that anyone had worked out how much trouble they were in. She was at full speed. Very hard to stop from breaking through the... ...facing out so that she can continue to run towards where the threat was. But then as soon as the half tried to bust the line, just flicked back and got her as well. Quality defence. Show and go from Dela Cruz. Yeah, she get back get to the, the ball mark. down there. But again, you can see Cobras just causing some headaches with their ability to wrap around their acting half. And they're happy to promote the ball. They are keeping it alive and they're, and they're getting in behind the Sharks defenders on multiple occasions. It'll be Rachel Day out of half here. This little wrap around play takes him on. Ooh, oh, almost creates great the numbers. Ball, yeah. Did enough to interest the link, create an overlap. Just the hands let him down on that occasion. Sharks back in possession. Let's see if they can flow. Ooh, contact. Heavy. It's almost legs on legs, I think. I think it is. Just going down. Jay Callanan. Down on the deck at the moment. Crumpled at the moment, yeah. Awkward, awkward contact. I think you're right. I think it was just that knee on knee sort of situation, which is not a great feeling. You to run towards where the threat was, but then as soon as the half tried to bust the line, just flicked back and got her as well. It's quality defence. Show and go from Dela Cruz. Yeah, she get back get to the, the ball down there. But again, you can see Cobras just causing some headaches with their ability to wrap around their acting half and they're happy to promote the ball. They are keeping it alive and they're, and they're getting in behind the Sharks defenders on multiple occasions. It'll be Rachel Day out of half here. This little wrap around play takes him on. Ooh, oh, almost creates the numbers. Ball, yeah. Did enough to interest the link, create an overlap. Just the hands let him down on that occasion. Sharks back in possession. Let's see if they can flow. Oh, oh, contact. Heavy. It's almost legs on legs, I think. I think it is. Just going down. Jay Callanan. Down on the deck at the moment. Crumpled at the moment. Yeah. yeah it was just awkward, awkward contact. I think you're right. I think it was just that knee on knee sort of situation, which is not a great feeling. Deck at the moment, crumpled at the moment. Yeah. yeah it was just awkward, awkward contact. I think you're right. I think it was just that knee on knee sort of situation, which is not a great feeling. Call now. She was live wire for the Sharks in the first half. You get the feeling that definitely the main threats are coming through. McCormick and Mac Levine, who are both on the field together now. Good read. From six, Laura Bain. Oh, and that's a big step. Good connect up. Just dropping down there in front of Shannon Austin. Definitely the footwork of McCormick is going to cause... All sorts of headaches if she can get in a great position. We see, just, I think that's the second person that has gone down in quick succession here. Just another it's little awkward collision. Letitia Stowers, it, it's been her on two occasions. Every time that she's rucking the ball or getting up out of the line, it seems to be leaving some Sharks players worse for wear. Another look. Just, I think you're right. I think it was just that knee on knee. 
sort of situation, which is not a great feeling. Cormac now. She was live wire for the Sharks in the first half. Yeah, you get the feeling that definitely the main threats are coming through. McCormick and Mac Levine, who are both on the field together now. Good read. From six, Laura Bain. Oh, and that's footwork. big step. Good connect up. Just dropping down there in front of Shannon Austin. Definitely the footwork of... McCormick is going to cause all sorts of headaches if she can get in a great position. We see, just, I think that's the second person that has gone down in quick succession here. Just another St little awkward collision. It's Letitia Stowers, it, it's been her on two occasions. Every time that she's rucking the ball or getting up out of the line, it seems to be leaving some Sharks players worse for wear. Bearing the head. Oh, jeez. Yeah, right. Just let the pictures do the talking there, no, I think. I don't think there's much. Come up with the points as of yet. Let's see if they can get it here. Ooh, they might get into oh, the end goal. Line. Late switch. Oh, she's happy with the ball being down here, too. There you go. Oh. Jeez. Crowd's a bit rowdy well, about crowd it. Crowd didn't like it as much from what I'm hearing, but I think it's a great play. Half takes off hard short side and then the, the link switch is held to the last minute. It's hard to see where where that touch was actually made, but she was very quick in getting the ball down. It's a good finish. Well they needed that. Yeah. South Queensland pulls them. <coughs> Excuse me, pulls them back. <coughs> you go, I'm gone. Yeah, mate. No worries, I'll take over for you. Uh, what Scott was attempting to say, I think, is that it pulls them back to a 4-2 scoreline. Cobbridge obviously on four, Sharks on two on the paint away scoreboard. And Cobbridge through Jenna Rouswell off a sweeper here. That's a nice play to incredibly well read. Sweeper here, that's a nice play to incredibly well read. And the Sharks link getting in and making that touch. How are you going? No, I'm no good. No good. No, okay. I'm back. I'm back. All right, good. Got the water in. Sweeper again here, and it is... Dela Cruz and oh, yeah. wow. There's a lot to like. Again, that's Letitia Stowers who's been in the thick of the action. She's had a big couple of minutes. Last couple of minutes, that's for sure. What are we doing? Very strong presence and then done a forward flip diving into the Ingall area there as well. Just a bit of spark starting to come into this match. Fortunately, not for the Sharks in this set. Can capitalise after the points. How's your voice going? Oh wow! <laughs> Joined I by think that's what happens when ten games in a row. <laughs> that's right. Hang in there with me, folks. Over we go with. Uh, oh, they've turned the ball over here, Cobras. There's a few uncharacteristic uh, moments starting to come into the Brisbane uh, team. We didn't see any of this stuff in the first half. No, they were pretty flawless in the first half, and it just makes you think if Sharks can be next to score, they'll start to really put the jitters through the Cobras a little bit. Really important facet of the game now. Oh, oh and there's a nice lovely little... bounce out play. And McCormick takes on the line and will get the and point. Got there too. Well, here we go. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, the Sharks have been on the back foot for the whole match. Well, they go back to back tries. It's a quality bit of play. You can see that that middle defender got so turned in and then thinking that, that she was going from half. The other middle bounced out, and they've just beat them for speed there. Belinda McCormack, who every time that she's got the ball near the line. And obviously, they're here after the restart. Sharks definitely had the better of it. Last touch. Adela Cruz takes off again into the in goal again. Fires it back midfield. They make the touch this time around. Very Mid threatening. Adela Cruz, every time that she's been near the line, just literally took off short side here. And just for pace, had her in a foot race, but wonderfully manned up by the Sharks defenders. You can see the winger right there to make the touch. Nice ball. Yeah, the Sharks have got a little bit of a roll on here. This is a better start to their set of six with some subs coming on. Yeah, Carney doing a good. But that's a nice set from the Sharks. They've looked far more likely in attack since the halftime break. Sharks. Getting up now as well, just trying to stop that ball movement. Oh, these are great meters. The run is just as good. 
Tough penalty given away. I think that can sort of happen though when it was the previous touch that did the damage with the, the extra sort of 15 metres that were made in the middle of the field. It makes you feel like as a defensive line that you're under a lot of pressure and your next touch either becomes too hard or, or, or catches players offside and, and you see a lot of penalties on the back of great rucks like that. Albert takes it. Nice ball on the out. Oh, oh no. That's not what you need to see. At that's all. their strike player. That's Bo De La Cruz who's gone down. Oh, it's just a real sudden grimace. Look what C. She hasn't grabbed anything. It might have looked like a hamstring. Just the way she's just gliding across, that's probably best case scenario. Yeah, that's right. I was more concerned about the knees. Well, that can happen as well. Be there. Let's tap and go. Bellingham. Still got some meters to cover. The direct set again. That's nice. Nice rucking here. They've got McLevine back on the field as well. Dishes. She'll go to half, half now. Fifth and last. Skips away from one. She's got to get into the in goal area. Has the touch been made? No play on. And they've linked up. Well, referees go all clear. And the Sharkies. And when you think they were dead and gone, have just held and just clawed and scratched throughout this second oh. half. Well, they've got players strewn on the sideline in the interchange area. And down to about eight healthy players just still standing oh. and fighting fit at that piece of defence. Yeah, big play. And Five I think seconds. it's going to take us into drop-off territory. Yeah, I think the Sharks are they're going to ha are happy to just take a breather here. Wow. They're pretty up and about in the box too, the Sharks. Some of the players are hands on hips, but well, the players... Well, you understand that, really. They, they definitely cut a two try deficit at one stage in that second half so to get themselves to drop off territory they take a huge amount of momentum and probably Cobras on the other hand they would have thought with about five minutes to go that they'd almost done enough so this is as good as it gets in the women's 30s division grand final yeah, so both teams will take a quick breather yeah I wonder if that just plants that seed of doubt in the mind of the Cobras that were cruising Pretty much cruising throughout the whole first half. A few errors started to creep into their game in the second. And they just kind of took the foot off the throat a little bit. Late try set up by McElveen. And all of a sudden, extra time. So we'll go out there. Both teams will start with four players. They'll have a two-minute extra time period. Whoever has the most tries at that point would win. And unless we're level. Yes, that's right. If the score remains equal after two